everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back again with uh, my Celebration Sunday series and I believe it's number 6 today. Now, I have a prototype to show you but I thought this would be good for Mother's Day. So, as I said, it's just a prototype but it's a lovely little pop-up card and I've just popped the little basket on which I've just fussy cut that out and um, that's celebration uh, this one isn't it's the large letter framelits but you know I thought well that's what I want to make but obviously you can put on whatever you want so I'm going to show you how to make it now I have cut out my little bits I've got so much going on on this desk I'm trying to sort out customer rewards and all sorts of stuff so we're going to make this one in marina mist and whisper white so the outside card base is whisper white and it needs to measure five and a quarter by eight and three quarters scored in the middle at four and three eighths Marina Mist is five by eight and a half inches and it's scored at four and a quarter. That's what you'll need to make your card. We'll get through to the other little pieces in a minute. Um, so as I said, I've scored them. So I am just going to quickly fold and burnish this. So this will be the outside. This will be inside, so it will go like this, okay? So, just put the white piece away for now and take the marina mist. And I've got the trimmer, okay? Oh, that stupid light keeps getting in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in and I am going to, I'm popping it in on the five inch side, okay? So I'm going to line it up with one inch there and I am going to take the cutting blade and I'm going to cut down to three centimetres on the trimmer, okay? Now you might have to go back and forth a couple of times just to make sure it's cut all the way through. Now see it hasn't there. So I am going to go back in again and if not I will then fold, um, turn it over. I think it's gone through now. No, it still hasn't. I think I need to change the blade actually. I haven't changed it for a bit. Then I'm going to flip it over this way and again I'm going to line up at one and I'm going to cut down to three centimetres. Okay and I'm just going to take some scissors and I am just going to reinforce this cut line here. Well just cut through it because it's only like a tiny little bit that hasn't cut okay and then if you open it up we'll have that now I'm going to put it in the trimmer and I am going to line it up roughly at six and no five and a half inches and I am going to score just in there okay like that turn it round again five and a half inches and I'm gonna score again in that same place so you should end up with that okay
And then what we're going to do is we're going to now just make sure that it's cut right to the score line. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the card, but I want to fold this this way. And I'm going to lift it up fold this down and then it will go in like this. Then I'm going to take my own folder and I'm just going to reinforce it and when you open it up you have your little pop-up step, alright? Okay, so if we take our wisp of white we need to stick this in here so get the score lines lined up on top of each other and we don't want to put any adhesive on this middle piece just round the outsides okay so I'm going to use some fuse for that so just around the outsides all the way around okay and then I'm even just going to pop a little strip down the sides there so then take your card base and we want to pull it nice and tight and just take your time to get it in the right place which that looks about right to me then you can stick that down okay and then we're just going to close it over give it a little burnish there and then when we open it up we've got our cute little step card okay so what we're going to do is I have somewhere, yeah, I've got the basket weave embossing folder. This is celebration and you can get this as a bundle with this gorgeous stamp set called Blossom and Basket and that's where I got the basket from. So you would have to spend £90 and then you can have this for free, okay? So this is a gorgeous folder and it's a dynamic, meaning it's so thick you only need to run it through the big shot with one plate on. Now, quickly before I do this, a good tip so that the card doesn't crack or anything is you can spray it with rubbing alcohol um, or the surgical spirit and put it in a little spritzer like this now I've got a little tip here it's not my idea I saw this from Monica Gale and she put some Wink of Stella in in here with the surgical spirit and it's doing two jobs for me it's gonna spray this because the fold is thick and it stops it stretches the fibers of the card and also it's going to have a nice shimmer on it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I mean so you need to spray it from a dis you know a decent distance you can see the shimmer there then I'm going to pop this in the folder All right, and I'm just going to quickly run this through the big shot. Okay, so I've run that through. Oh, wow, yeah. Hope the camera picks this up. Oh, I don't think it's gonna, is it? But you, 
it looks beautiful or you can if you just move it a certain way it's got loads of shimmer on it and it looks beautiful and it's not straight I haven't embossed that very straight have I but yeah it stretches the fibres of the cardstock and there's less chance of it cracking but yeah that shimmer is beautiful on there and you can always spray a bit more on okay so that's that done this is going to go on the front of my um, card okay now I've got some this beautiful wisp white ribbon and I'm going to tie it round the side here a bit of tape What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bow on the top. So I am going to pop this onto the front of our card. Okay. So just get this. I might get this straight at least. <laughs> oh goodness oh, looks like I've had a few too many I think <laughs> if you've been picking up on camera but it's kind of leaning off to the right not too bad I suppose never mind anyway so we have that and I just hope you can see that shimmer because it is gorgeous so that's that done. Now, for the front of my card, I have used this, which this is gorgeous. It's not celebration, but I like it. So, <laughs> we have got Petal Palette. It's that stamp there, and also the matching air uh, framelits, which is that one. And it cuts that gorgeous flower out. I've coloured it in with the Stampin' Blends in the Light Night of Navy and I've used Wink of Stella. And I've also used this little one here which cuts out that and we're going to stamp a sentiment on that in a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my little flower maybe just in the middle and I'm going to have a little sentiment there and I'm just going to quickly tie a little bow here all I do is just wrap that round okay I just fold that round there and under there and then I just pull it tight and then just adjust it to the size that you want it. Pull it tight again. And that's how I tie little bows. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that off. And I'm just going to pop that on there like that. So I'll just get a glue dot. Um, I might just make it a little bit smaller. I think it's a little bit too big for what I want. So a little glue dot on the back 
and I'm just going to pop it there have my little flower there and the little sentiment that I'm going to put on because this is going to be a Mother's Day card um, I have got a Mother's Flare and I'm using Happy Mother's Day because we don't have a Mother's Day sentiment in celebration this year so I've got it there Happy Mother's Day I'm going to use Marina Mist And I'm going to try and get this in the middle of this little um, sentiment thing here, this little die cut. Yep, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. So I think what I'll do as well is I will stick both of these on with dimensionals. Just pop a few of these on here. Just peel the backings off. And I think we'll have this one just there. And then I've got my little sentiment, Happy Mother's Day, which is going to go just there. So that is the front of my card done. We just got to do, do the inside now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is stamp our little basket here. And I'm going to use... Memento um, black for this. So just ink it up. Make sure it's inked up well. Okay. And we're going to stamp it onto some Whisper White and we're going to colour it in and then we will fussy cut it out gorgeous make sure it's dry um, I won't do it on camera because it will probably be boring but the colours I'm using are the um, Night of Navy the Old Olive and some of the dark pink pirouette colour it in and I'll just quickly show you as well and um, for some reason I cut them out in blue these and I don't know why because you wouldn't have been able to see them so I've recut them out in white so I've cut out ma'am because where I'm from here up in the north we say ma'am so that's what I've got and then from the celebration dies I've cut out amazing you which is these ones here and um, again a 90 pound spend would get you these and these are also carrying over to the new um, annual catalogue when it comes out later in the year so there were so don't think oh I'm going to spend that and then they're going to retire the not because they're going to carry over also the basket weave embossing folder is as well so that's good to know as you can see, I've been getting busy with my little pockets again. 
<laughs> Honestly, I'm just so addicted to these because you can make them any size you want. And now all my dies are stored in these and they are just amazing. And I want to quickly show you as well. So there is the large letters. They're all my own made pockets as well. And I've been making little dinky pockets to store little embellishments in as well. So, you know, that's another idea. You can really store anything you want in them. I think it's less to store them than in a stamp case because obviously it takes up less room, doesn't it? So I wanted to show you that. So, oh yes, and the basket, I forgot to get the colour for that. Um, I think I used the ivory marker and the light crumb cake for that one. Yeah, the light crumb cake and the ivory. So I coloured all the basket in with the ivory and then with the crumb cake I just go in the little bits just to kind of highlight it where you can see that I've done it on this one here. So I'm just going to get on and colour this in and then I will be back when it's... Well, I'm, I'll colour it in, I'll fussy cut it out and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back everyone. There we go, gorgeous. And I've also put Wink of Stella on, so I'm quite happy with that. So we will just grab our card. Now I've just popped a little faceted gem as well on the bow there. So I'm just gonna pop some uh, fuse just on the bottom of the basket here. Okay. And then I'm going to just put it flat and I know that if you just kind of stick it just above the score line like that and then when you lift it up you've got your gorgeous little basket. So this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a bit different. This time I'm going to have mam on the top here. So mam. And then I am going to have Mam, you. And then from the another celebration set called Amazing You, I'm going to stamp the R simply, but I'm going to do it in the Whisper White Craft Ink. So we'll have Mam, you, R simply. amazing okay so I've got the little stamp just here and just get the ink just ink that up so I know that I want it about just kind of roughly along here somewhere. I might need to re-ink this pad actually. It seems a little bit dry. Well, we'll just go for it. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. Yeah, really, where is it? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Try it again. <sighs> hmm. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to just quickly nip off and glue these down because that's pretty boring too. Quickly re-ink this and I'll be back. Yes, yeah, sorry everyone, I had to um, ink that up. <laughs> so there we go, there's the outside and we open it up and I think that is gorgeous. 
um, as you can see it was there's a bit of double kind of well it looks kind of blurry because I had stamped it there was a little bit on um, but yeah it, it just needed re-ink and so make sure you check that first but yeah I think that is a lovely card and then I'm just going to quickly add a couple of pearls I think along the bottom Yes, I've got a couple of quick updates to tell you about. I am now offering what I'm calling an adhesive refill shop. So if you run out of Tombow, um, they look pretty, Tombow or Snail, whatever, adhesive wise, um, I'll be stocking it here so you can just give us a message, whatever and tell us what you need and I can send them to you straight from here so I'm also doing that and very soon I'm going to be offering online classes so I'm just in the process of sorting all that out now so I will keep you updated with that so I hope you like the card I think it's really really pretty yeah I like that so all the info will be on my blog um, and I will be back again tomorrow with Remake It Monday. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.